Hey guys, Kevin Muldoon here. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you a great WordPress theme from Cyberchimps called iFeature Pro. The theme has been around for a few years and the version that I'm reviewing today in this video is 5.5. As you would expect, the theme is responsive, but it's also touch friendly and that's something that a lot of WordPress themes don't do. And you can see here, I've got the sales page here and it talks about the iFeature slider that's touch friendly and there's lots of great features. It comes in many different color schemes. It's touch friendly and responsive, like I said. It has a drag and drop options page that allows you to control the look and feel of every page. That's something I'd like to talk about in this video. Lots of drag and drop elements, uh, post format support, translation ready, and it's built using Twitter Bootstrap, HTML5, and CSS3. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly jump over and show you the demo. And then we can show you the options area and we can look at how you can use it to build a website. So we'll just jump over to the demo page. As you can see, the demo has been set up to showcase its blogging functionality. And this is a great blogging theme. But it can be used for other things too. It can be used for a corporate website. It can be used for an online shop. I mean, we all know how versatile WordPress is. And this theme is... Well, it's just as versatile as WordPress is. You can use it for anything. It really just depends on what plugins you're going to be using with the theme. As you can see here, I don't have any sidebars. But if I come over here, I can show you what the theme looks like with a right sidebar. With a left sidebar. And with one on either side. Now, I mentioned in the feature page there when I was looking at the sales page that... It has lots of drag and drop elements that you can use. And that, for me, is one of the best features of iFeature Pro. If you look down here, I can show you what I'm talking about. At the top of the page here, you can see the callout element. Now, this can be dragged and dropped onto your page. And you can use this for anything, really. It's really The callout element is really useful for drawing attention to something. For example, you could be promoting your newsletter at the top of the page. You could be displaying a banner for your sponsor, you could tell people to contact you, you could direct people to your discussion forums. You can use it for anything really, it's just a, something that's big and bold and gets in the, the, the visitor's eye and it draws them towards a page or an area of your website that you want to send them to. That is the call out element, but there's lots, lots of other elements that you can use. I'll just click on the carousel, you can see the carousel there. You also, you can also drop widgets there. And there is a magazine style if you want to use multiple columns and display blog posts in a magazine style. And you can also display a video. There's lots of other elements you can use as well. This is really just to show you what it can do. So what we're going to do is jump over and just quickly show you what this theme is like on different platforms, on different um, devices. So we'll start off with a large 27 inch monitor. We'll jump down to a 17 inch workstation, 15 inch laptop, 11 inch, an iPad, an iPad on portrait mode, Nexus 7 tablet, in landscape mode, Nexus 7 in portrait mode, and then we have an iPhone in landscape, an iPhone in portrait. And you can see there how easily the theme changes and how it responds to being viewed on different devices. It, it doesn't matter whether a user changes the resolution on their desktop computer or whether they're just using a smaller device. This theme is responsive, so it will fit whatever screen that the, the, the visitor is using. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump to my test area and you can see here, I've got a lot of themes in my test website, but what you would do is upload iFeature Pro 5, and then you would activate it. You can see it, version 5.57. Now, it automatically takes you to the theme options page, and this is where you control your website. What I'll quickly do is show you that this is, this is the actual front end of the test website that I've got. And 
if I just quickly jump to the blog, you can see that right away, you know, you saw I was using the, the default WordPress theme before 20, I think it was 15 I had activated. And as soon as I activated iFeature Pro, it has constructed this main blog page for me. You can see a beautiful slider and you can see these three box widgets here. Now, these are all widget areas. And what I'll quickly do is I'll jump away from the options page just for a second because I want to talk about that. Um, you can see here there's there's a sidebar left and right, like I showed you in the demo. Uh, you have a footer widget area and then you have, those are the, the boxes there and you can see there the custom menu box middle right. So this is for a, a three box section that you can insert anywhere on your website. So those are the main widget areas and there's two menu locations. You have a menu at the top and you have the menu at the bottom of the website. So we'll go back to the, the theme options area and I'll show you everything that is there. Now you can see all the different um, categories of options down the left hand side here. And uh, it's very easy to use. Under help, you've just got links to the support area and to documentation. Okay, so this is the design section. And there's a lot of options here that you can switch on and off. You've got responsive design, responsive videos, that's a good option. You can define the maximum width of your website. And you can see here that you can change your color scheme. So let's see how that works. Change it to red, save the options and there we go now we've got a red color scheme That's, that really is how easy it is to use there's other things here as well you can change the text color the link color the link hover color lots of topography options and you can insert custom css there so here is the option for the header now at the moment it has the logo well, I've got text just now, but the logo area and then contact information on the right hand side. And you can see that's what it looks like there. Drag and drop elements, logo and contact. But let's change that. Let's put logo and search. If I can drag it over. Come on. There we go. That's what happens in live TV. Okay, I've saved the page now. And there we go. Now we've got the logo and the search bar. You can see in the options here, yeah, there's a lot of inactive elements. If you want, you can put multiple areas. So you can put descriptive icons. You can place a banner. You can see how this looks now. So you can see there. Now, that's really useful because it allows you to place advertising and social media buttons and things like that on the top of your website. Now, personally, I wouldn't be displaying a logo and then another logo underneath, but it does show you that there's a lot of different options available to you there. You can drag and drop your logo and your icons in different ways. And I'll just take these out. It's it's very flexible. You can see how easy it is to use. You just drag the element over and you click save. That's all you have to do. So if I jump back just now, you can see some of these other options. The menu options, the search bar, top header bar. Here we have here a custom logo. You can upload your own custom logo and custom favicon, Google Analytics code, header scripts, and then we have social icons, contact telephones, and banner options. Okay, so we jump to the blog, and this is the section I was referring to before about the elements. Now, if we go back to here, to the, the demo, you remember that I spoke about the call out element, and this is how the system works. This is the blog index. This is the blog area. And you can see here that I have the slider, the boxes, and the post page. And you can see that's how I've got it set up there just now. You've got the slider. You've got the boxes, which is the three box widgets. And then you've got your post page, which is all your posts. Now, you can see all, all the different elements that you have here. There's a separator. There's Google Maps, widgets. There's recent posts a magazine it really is flexible and to and in fact let's let's go th through and just build it and we'll just add lots of different things here now the outcome here is going to look a little silly because in my in my opinion this is too many things to put on one page but 
it does show you how this system works. So let's see how it goes on. Okay, so now you can see here at the top, I must have, yeah, I've got the magazine style design. And then we've got the slider down here. I've got more pose. I've got Google Maps at the bottom. Now, the great thing about this is that not only can you do it to your blog, if you go to your page and look at this, you can do this on a page by page basis. That's amazing. That is something that you normally can only get if you use like some sort of expensive drag and drop page builder. This gives you a lot of a lot of options. It gives you a lot of it gives you really the options to do anything with your website. There's nothing that you can't do like because what you can do is build different areas of your website in different ways. So for example, you can construct your contact page in a much different way that you construct your about page. You can construct your blog in a different way that you construct your home page. So really, it, it gives you a lot of options, a lot of versatility that you wouldn't normally get with a, a normal WordPress theme. And that's, for me, this is one of the best features of iFeature. You know, if you go back to the demo of iFeature Pro, you will see that it, it, I think this is what's, I'm try, what I'm trying to explain, this, this is what really stands iFeature Pro out from the competition. I mean, if you look at most WordPress themes, most features are, if you have, for example, a call-out section, the call-out section has to be displayed on the whole website or not at all. But here, with iFeature Pro, you can just choose where it's displayed and where it's not displayed. Now, I'll just I'll show you some of the op other options here for the blog. You can choose to display no sidebar, one on the right, one on the left, both on the right and one on either side. Lots of other um, options there, meta information that can be disabled on and off. And we also have lots of magazine options. That's for displaying a, a magazine layout, multiple columns, and you can display the featured image on and off and things like that. And then you have the blog slider. That is your call out section. And you can see there you have the WordPress visual editor. So you can use images or banners or whatever you want. Carousel options and recent posts, Google Maps, and your boxes, how many boxes you want to display per row. You can display two, three, or four. Now on this page, we have options for your single post, your archive, your search bar, um, your search archive, sorry, your search page, and your 404 page. And you can see here for the single post, you can, you can enable and disable many useful options like meta information like byline categories, author information, the post title. You can change the layout. And the same thing with the archive pages. You can change the layout. You can disable certain information, meta information. What I really like about the 404 information page is that you can use the WordPress visual editor or the text ed editor to create any page that you want. So you can do anything you want and create something really unique and you can do it all from the options area. There's some basic options for the footer options. It's quite limited, really, I suppose, in comparison to some of the other areas of the website. But you do have footer widgets, and you can change the copyright text quite easily. And you can show the cyber links, uh, Cyberchimps link. You can just switch it on and off. That's quite good. You don't have to go in and manually change it. The great thing about this as well is import and export functionality. And that is not something that you should take for granted. Ideally, when you're setting up something for a live website, you want to set something, you want to test it first on a test website, get everything working, and then go back to the live website and then set everything up there. What you don't want to do is go to the live website and have to recreate every single step that you had taken with the, the, the design on the test website. So if you can import and export settings like you can in iFeature Pro, it's going to save you a lot of time if you're setting things up on a test website first before your live website. So it's great to see that. And, you know, also if you're using iFeature Pro on multiple websites, you can save yourself a lot of time by just exporting the settings from the website that you used it on before. And finally, you can see here there's support for the events calendar and digital downloads. So if either of those plugins are installed, you're going to see options for them there in the options area. So you can see there that the, the options area is very easy 
to understand. All you have to do is make your changes and then save your options and then, you know, everything will be saved and then it'll, dis it'll display correctly on the live area. But the great thing about this theme is that you can also customise your website through the WordPress theme customizer. So that allows you to see all the changes in real time. And you can see all the different options here, everything that I spoke about before. Um, if we take the colours, for example, you can change the background colour there. Um, let's change it to yellow. There we go. That is absolutely horrible, but let's leave it there just now. <laughs> um, so you can see different options here for the layout. There are options for the design, change the skin colour. Now, for regular settings, I'm quite happy using the main options area, but if you're making design changes, I think it's good to do it through the WordPress theme customizer because you can quickly see what works and what doesn't. And bizarrely, that yellow doesn't look as bad now with the blue. Um, we've got topography settings, header settings, and template settings. Background image as well. If we don't want that colour. There we go. So there's a lot of themes that aren't supporting the WordPress theme customizer, um, which is a shame. Because a lot of WordPress themes, they, they put all their energy into their own settings area that they kind of forget about about the WordPress theme customizer, but that is not what's happened here. Cyberchimps has got great support for the WordPress theme customizer and it really makes it a much more user-friendly theme because of it. You can modify things through the settings area or through the theme customizer, wh whichever you prefer. So that has been a quick look at iFeature Pro. And I think it's a, I think it's a, a really good theme, a really good versatile general purpose theme. I, I, I guess it's it's more, um, you know, with post format supports, with all those options for blogs, I think bloggers are going to really love this theme, but you can use it for a corporate website. You could use it for an online shop if you're using something like WooCommerce as well. And you can use it for anything, but I do think bloggers are perhaps going to see a lot of benefits for this, you know, with the post format support, with the ability to customise different pages of the website in different ways using those call-out elements. The theme is available for only $19.99, so that's it's a great price. It's very, very affordable. And as you can see here, there is an option to get all Cyberchimps uh, themes and their plugins for only $97. Though, you know, I, I would probably look at iFeature Pro first. You know, if you're going to be building multiple websites, I would look at the club option. But at $19.99, you can't really complain. It, it's a, it really does offer fantastic value for money. The theme is responsive. So, you you know, you, you've got, the search engines are going to respect the fact that your website is looks great on mobile devices and so your visitors, you know. Responsive designs are essential now. It's, we're past the point where you can really decide whether a responsive theme is good or whether it's not good. You know, there was about four or five years ago where a lot of website owners, they just didn't bother with responsive designs, but the changes by made by Google and all these other big search engines was that if you are not using a responsive theme, your website can be penalized and you can go down the ranking. So you're going to get less traffic and less traffic normally means less income for you. So you have to make sure you're using a responsive theme. And iFeature Pro is responsive, but it's also touch friendly. So it's a, it's a modern design. It's responsive. It's got a lot of great features. It's very easy to use. And the icing on, on the cake is the fact that it does support the WordPress theme customizer. So if you'd like to know more about this, please do check the description area below and you'll see a link to the sales page of iFeature Pro. If not, just go to cyberchimps.com. You'll find the theme there. Thanks for watching. I've been Kev Muldoon. If you've got any questions about this theme, please do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, take care.